Hello everybody, in this lesson we're going to talk about the independ independent sources uh, and how it's compared to the circuit. Uh, so let me start as a previous lesson. I'm going to start with defining what is dependent sources. So whenever you see this sample in a circuit and inside this box we have these signs, this is a voltage source, but this is dependent voltage source. Okay, so this is voltage source. What is dependent? Remember, the last one was just a circle with the same sign, but with the, it was independent. This is depending on other voltage across a component in another place in the circuit. For example, I have this circuit. And here is my dependent source. So, for example, here is written 2VA. And it's giving me that here is VA. So, how much the value of the voltage here, for example, 5 volt, the source here is 10 volt. Because this source is depending upon the voltage here. That's called dependent voltage, dependent sources. So here I write a number or factor and V something. This something is another voltage on the uh, on the circuits. Yeah. So this is a dependent voltage source. Now, if you see this sample, it is a current source. but it's depend to dependent to just the, the same as previous one but the the thing that gonna be right here for example a factor and I something this something may be another current in another branch in the same circuits. So this is the dependent sources. Okay. Okay. So when you see this question or something like this, first of all you look at the circuit. You see that I have a dependent current source and its value is 2IA then I say, okay, where is IA? Mm, look, now, yeah, here is IA so, the value of this current source depending on this branch okay and it's asking to define the constants of the circuit I, for example, V, and we'll analyze the circuit okay the same we put our niche this is I1 I2. Now, the difference is here is we put the niche, step to defining the signs over the component, so plus, minus, plus, minus. I assume that this guy is greater value than this one, so plus, minus, and plus, minus. Now, we write our equations, the KDL equations, KDL. For the first two, for the first two, um, actually there, there, there is no there, there is no need to write any equation because I one is two I a, so it's already we, we already know what's I I one. I one is equal to two I a because it's in the same branch, isn't it? In the same branch and I have a current sort. Don't be confused. This is a current sort, not a voltage source. 
if it are both source, the, 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 the step is going to be the different. So I1 is equal to 2 I A. Now, I go to the second part. I write my second equation. Now, this guy. R2 with the sign, so I, R2, I1 minus I2. On here, minus R3 multiplying to I2. Here, minus R4 multiplying to I2. All of that is equal to zero. Now, we have to find some relation between these two equations, okay? Now, what is the value of I2? The I2, you can see that here, there's an IA. IA is in opposite direction, I2. So, from this information, I can find that, I can figure that I2 is equal to minus IA. Okay? I2 is equal to minus IA. Okay? Great. So, I have two relation now. This is the first relation. And this one is the second relation. And I have my main equation. Okay? That is very simple, as you can see. Wherever in the, in the main equation I have I2, I put minus IA. Wherever in the in the first in the main equation I have I1, I put two I2, two uh, two I A. So at the end I will have one equation that has all the same uh, unknowns, which is I A. I can figure out I A easily. So that's the method on how to solve uh, this uh, circuits like this, which has. Depend, uh, depending sources. Okay, that's it. I will give you time, and uh, we we have we, we have reached the end of this lessons. Uh, I hope that you have benefit from niche analysis, and we will continue to the second method of analyzing circuits, which is model analysis.